What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a DIY brushless crazy cart setup. This is going to be a walkthrough. The build is coming soon. Recently purchased another stock cart and a whole bill of materials for an identical brushless setup. So this is just going to be a walkthrough. I'm going to show you guys what I did. This is going to be, these are all open source parts if you will. I'm not gatekeeping any of this stuff so let's get started. I guess First and foremost, I'm running a 48 volt lead acid battery. I know, crucify me on the cross. Um, I'm working on getting a lithium ion pack coming soon, but you can run a lithium or a lead acid, get about 40 minutes. Yeah, you get about 40 minutes of runtime, but if you're really pumping that throttle, you get maybe 20 minutes. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the controller we're using for this brushless build it's upside down right now, but it's a Flip Sky ESC or VSC, so a VESC, and it's the 75100 Pro. And this has the integrated Bluetooth with it. So this thing's good up to 72 volts, I believe 120 amps or something like that. It's a very nice controller for this setup. It's small. Uh, you don't have to really rework anything for this build. It's it all fits right into the stock assembly here. The only thing you have to make is your own motor mount for the motor. So the wires, they just run through where the old switch used to go. And they get taped and zip tied through the, the original routing of the motor wires. And then it just kind of sits there and it does not ever get in the way. I've been riding this quite a while. Never seems to get in the way, the way I have it positioned here. And it also doesn't strain the motor wires. So it seems to be a good setup I got here. The motor I'm using is a Flipski 7070, and it's just a 110 kV version. They go all the way up to 150 kV. So the higher kV, the higher top speed, the lower kV, the more torque. Um, this one, tops out around 30, 35. It's super torquey, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, so the 110 kV motor is pretty torquey, it's a lot of fun. And what you do is you buy a, this is too thick of a piece of aluminum that I've come to find out, and that's why in the build guide, I'm gonna be using a four millimeter piece of aluminum. And you basically bend a 90 degree in that piece of aluminum, drill holes for your motor mount and your top mount on the fork here. And yeah, you're gonna have to get a new chain as well with a master link. Uh, I'm running a 15 tooth upper sprocket. It's a 10 millimeter sprocket. So you will need to get a new upper sprocket as well. These are all cheap things too. That's the nice thing about this. Uh, the whole, this whole build here, if you look at it as in upgrades. So if we're just talking about batteries, you can get two additional lead acid batteries on Amazon for $17 or $18 right now. So that's $36 to make it 48 volts. Your controller is $110. So you're looking at $146. Your brushless motor is $120. So you're looking at, um, let's see. So 36, 110, 146. So you're looking at 266 roughly, plus a sprocket and chain, an additional 20. So let's say, $300 to do this whole build all in and that's including a couple extra parts if you don't have it like a switch or a extra plugs or wires it's $300 to do this is not bad at all and when you compare that to other kits out there on the market uh, it's very competitively priced and it's all readily available on Amazon the only thing is you'll have to fab your own motor mount which can be a pain for some people but if I can do it, I think anybody can. I'm nothing special. So yeah, that's how you do a brushless crazy cart build. 